Like I, I'd heard things like, oh, you know, they won't let you show this at a Disney show. And I'm like, okay. So I was a little like sus when I started. The, our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like, I, I feel like I felt like I don't have to be afraid to like, let's have This doesn't look too good, Patrick. We were doomed from the start. The Proud Family was originally a kid's show on the Disney Channel back in the early 2000s. It was canceled in 2005, and then in 2022, it became uh, just the latest reboot that nobody needed, nobody asked for, nobody wanted. I don't want to... I don't want to do this anymore. The rebooted Proud Family, which can be found now on uh, Disney+, Plus, promises to be louder and prouder. And it certainly fulfills at least half of that promise. And here it is. Slaves built this country. And we, the descendants of slaves in America, have earned reparations for their suffering. And continue to earn reparations every moment we spend submerged in the systemic prejudice, racism, and white, white supremacy, supremacy that America was founded with and still has not atoned for. Slaves, slaves built, built this country. country. Not only field hands, but carpenters, masons, blacksmiths, music. These are just some tips and tricks and techniques that I've learned over eight or more years now of having growing a beard. Beards are very Different. Our account is still outstanding. Cause this country was built on slavery, which means slaves, slaves built, built this country. country. And we demand our 40 acres and a mule. About that. You can keep the mule. Keep the 40. We're taking our freedom. Just some nice, wholesome children's content. Most importantly, and it is really necessary that we emphasize this, slaves did not build this country. How dare you? The building started in the 1400s when the first European explorers sailed across treacherous and uncharted seas to discover these lands. It continued with the European settlers in the 1500s and 1600s who built a life for themselves in this unknown wilderness facing untold threats and for many of them certain death. This country was built by the colonists and the American revolutionaries. It was built by war and conquest, by discovery, by diplomacy, by industry. The country was built by the people who made it into the world's great power in the 20th century, who won world wars and brought about peace and economic prosperity. It was built by many people over many centuries. And for a portion of that history, some people in some parts of the country own slaves. That certainly is not enough to justify the claim that the slaves built the country. It never happened. It's fiction. To make that claim is to erase nearly everyone who really did build the country. It's to paper over America's actual history with your grievance-mongering nonsense. As many of you know, I'm a true grill master. I love grilling up just about anything. Thanks to my friends at Cinch, my grill is never empty with propane. Cinch is a propane grill tank home delivery service. They deliver propane tanks right to your door. Cinch delivers on your schedule. Does not require any long-term commitment or subscription. Plus, delivery is completely contactless. You don't have to wait around at home. Track the order on the Cinch app from anywhere, whether you're uh, grilling for your friends, camping with your family, or lighting up your fire pit on a cold summer night. Cinch's propane delivery service ensures that you have the fuel you need to make the most of every moment. Go online to cinch.com or download their app to order. New customers can get their first tank exchange for just $10 with promo code Walsh. That's C-Y-N-C-H.com. Promo code Walsh is a limited time offer and you must live within a cinch service area to redeem it. Visit cinch.com slash offer for details. Now, if the mere historical fact of slavery automatically means that the country was built by slavery, and forever is indebted to slaves and their descendants, then of course the same must be said about every nation on the planet. There is no race, no people, uh, no nation anywhere in the world who does not inherit the guilt uh, of, of slavery. We all did it. As I will never tire of pointing out, the only thing that makes America's relationship to slavery unique is how comparatively quickly we abolished it and the lengths we went to abolish it. God bless America. You notice something. You, you notice how I didn't use the word we when talking about the people who did build the country. I didn't come here on the Mayflower. I wasn't on the Lewis and Clark expedition. I didn't fight in the Civil War. I didn't storm the beaches of Normandy. People who looked kind of like me did, but I didn't. So I don't take credit for their achievements or claim their accolades, just as I don't pretend to have experienced their suffering or felt their pain. I stand at the end of this long line of triumph and sacrifice. I am its beneficiary, and so are you, whatever your race. Yet in that Disney song, that's not really a song, we hear the word we being used. And this is always the case with the race hustlers. They talk about the long ago sufferings of people they never met and who they missed meeting by a century and a half, and they say we and us. 
But no, it's not a we or an us situation because you were not enslaved. It may have happened to your ancestors, but if you go back a little further, you may just as well find that your ancestors did it to others. You damn hypocrites make me sick! This is, this is the problem of trying to claim your entire lineage as if it all happened to you, is that you cannot isolate this one particular moment in your ancestry and take direct ownership of it, speaking about it as if you were there, without owning all of the rest of your ancestral history. So, alternatively, you can choose to stand in the present appropriating neither your ancestors' achievements, nor their sufferings, nor their sins. It's your choice, really. You've got two paths, and one gives you a chance at living a happy and successful life. The other keeps you wallowing pathetically in self-pity, obsessing over resentments that don't belong to you. It's up to you. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given.